Hello everyone, my name is Kathy Mehta and I'm here to discuss more about queue-based routing. We will also understand how we can configure queue-based router in our org. So there are basically three ways to configure omnichannel routing. The first is queue-based routing, the second is skill-based routing, and the third is external routing. In queue-based routing, we basically assign agents to queues which typically represents a single skill. Omnichannel assigns work items to this queue and then pushes these work items to an agent who is the member of that queue. So the best use case here would be for smaller organizations that supports a limited number of products. So let's understand how we can configure queue-based router in our org step by step. There are several steps that we need to follow. I'll explain one by one. So as soon as you log into your org, just go to setup in the quick find type in Omni channel. Under Omni channel tab, you'll see something as Omni channel settings. The first step is quite simple. You only need to enable Omni channel in your org. So you will see a checkbox as enable Omni channel. Just click on that. Once you click on the checkbox, you'll see several other checkboxes over here as enable skill-based routing, some secondary routing priority. So we don't need any of these right now. We just need to configure a simple queue-based routing. So just click on the first checkbox and click on save. Now that we have switched on omni-channel in our org, the next thing we need to do is create service channel. So again, on the quick find, type in service channel and under own channel you'll see something as service channels so service channel is basically a way to communicate with the support team it can be again of any custom object or case or lead object so whenever we are creating a service channel we are basically saying to salesforce that hey salesforce i have created a channel for case any case that will be logged into, into the Salesforce should be routed to the agent automatically. So just click on new and give a unique name in the service channel name. So I'll just give it as case queue. The developer name will be auto-populated. Over here, you'll see case lead or any custom object. For now, I want case. So I'll select it as case and click on save. Now that I'm done with my second step, the third step is creating routing configuration. I'll have to go to the quick find and type in routing configuration and select routing configurations under Omni channel. This configuration basically helps you to give priority to your work items and give capacity to those work items. So when I say work items, it can be again, anything case lead or custom object. And when I say capacity, that means weight of each work item. So just click on new and again, give a very unique name. I have given case queue routing config. The developer name will be auto-populated. Next I see is routing priority. So for now I have given routing priority as one. So the routing priority goes from one to 10, one being the most important, 10 being the least important. Next that we see is routing model. So we see here three options, least active, most available, external routing. External routing is a different altogether, a different way to configure omnichannel routing. Over here, we see least active and most available. Least active means the agent who has the least amount of work, he or she will be found out and the new case will be assigned to him or her. Most available means the total work that an agent can do at a particular amount of time will be deducted from the current work that he is working on and that number will be taken accounted for and then he or she will be found out and the case will be assigned to him or her. Mm -hmm. For now, in queue-based routing, I want as least active. You should always select least active in queue-based routing. In the units of capacity, I'll give one. That means each case will be treated as one unit. So one unit is equal to one case is equal to one work item. So just click on save. We are pretty much done with our third step. The fourth step 
is assigning these routing configuration to, to a queue. So just in quick find, just type in queue and create a new queue. Click on new, give the name as quad. The queue name will be auto-populated. Over here, I need to assign my routing configuration that I created in the third step. So I'll see my routing configuration that I had created. Just click on that. And the supported objects, as I selected case and service channel, I'll also have to select case over here. So just click on add. Over here in the queue members, I'll give myself. I see Kathy Mehta. I am the system administrator of this org. So there's only one user over here. So I'll just assign myself over here. So that means I am the agent who is a member of the queue named as squad. So just click on save. The fifth step is creating presence configuration. So again, type in presence configuration at the quick find and you'll find it under OP channel tab. So just click on presence configuration. So in this configuration, we basically tell Salesforce that agents can also have a ability to decline any work items that come into their bucket, provided they need to provide some reason if he or she declines. So there will always be a default present configuration. So don't worry about it. So just click on new and create your own. Again, give a unique name. I have given case queue presence config. The developer name will be auto-populated. For capacity, I'll give us 20. That means each agent will have an ability of, uh, you know, of, of uh, taking 20 cases at a particular amount of time. So there are multiple checkboxes over here, automatically accept request. That means the agent will not have an ability to accept the request. The when the cases will be generated, it will be automatically assigned to the agent as per their availability. Next is allow agents to decline reasons. That means there will be a button wherein the agent can decline if he or she is very busy or very caught up with work. The same way there are many checkboxes for now, I don't want anything over here. So I'll just click on save. Now that we are done with our fifth step, the sixth step is to create present statuses. So whenever we log into any social app like Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp, we see that there is a status as an online, offline, or typing. So in Salesforce world, we call it present statuses. So we need to assign some statuses to our agents as well. So click on present statuses again under Omni channel, click on new. Over here, just give the status name as available. The developer name will be auto-populated. The status option should be online. Now, if I, by mistakely, if I give the name as available and if I click on busy, then also the name available, the status available will be treated as busy so that the case won't be routed. So make sure when you write available, you create on online. Then, you need to select the service channel and just select it on the add button and just click on save. So once you do that, I'll again create one more present statuses. So let's just click on new and create one more. So when I give it as busy, I need to select it on as busy and click on save. Let's create one more present status. Just click on new and on a break. If I select it as an on a break, that means it will be busy. So just click on busy and click on save. So now that we have created present statuses, we need to assign or add these present statuses to the profile of the agent so that these present statuses will be available for the agent. So just click on profile. As you remember in the queue, I have assigned myself as the agent. So I am the system administrator of this org. So just go to system administrator. Don't click on edit, just click on system administrator. Over here, you will see something as enable service present statuses access. Just click on that, click on edit, and you will see all the present statuses that you had created. So just click on add and click on save. This step ensures 
that the agent will be able at the agent side will be able to see these present statuses the three that we created in the agent side so now we are done with all our steps the last step that is left is adding omni channel box to the ui so in the quick find type in app manager and just select app manager for now i'll select any app that is related to service so i'll just select service console click on edit once i click on edit in the very left i'll see utility items so click on utility items add utility item and you will see omni channel over here so just click on that everything is by default here just click on save so we have now added omni channel box to our ui all our steps are done let's just go to the app and check whether the queue based routing is working or not so we are here just click on app launcher and click service on we can see omni channel box over here in the very left bottom just click on that the status of the agent will be always offline by default so if i click on this drop down i should see the three statuses that i had created just click on the drop down while you see available busy and on a break that we created so I'll, let's make the agent available and then let's create a case by default and let's just check whether everything is working fine or not so if i create a case over here by default the new case should be diverted over here and the agent as an agent i'll have an ability to accept the case over here i'll see a tick mark so if i click on that that case will be transferred to the my work tab so let's just create a case and let's see what happens click on new and for now just for the demo purpose i'll just give all the required fields and nothing more so the subject i'll give my phone is not working and let's click on save now my case is created but as i said once the case is created i should see over here a new case has been created and the agent should accept the case but i don't see anything over here why because i am the system administrator of the org i am the agent and i am the one who is creating this case so in the case owner it is treating khyati mehta as a user and not as a member of a queue so just click on the change owner button go to the drop down select queue and just find in your queue and just select it once i click on this button there should be a notification in the omni channel box let's check it see as i uh, change the owner as in the queue i see a notification so if i click on the stick button i should uh, this case should be routed to the my work tab let's check it see now the work is transferred over here and this is an active case of this agent and all the details are been mentioned here so this is how queue based routing works and i hope this session was knowledgeable for you guys thank you